then um, I think I would allow them to do it. Is he saying that Indonesian parents don't care about their children much? No, I'm not. I'm saying that Indonesian parents realise that the best thing for their family is, is to make sure that they, they're able to earn some money. OK. The question was actually, are you happy to let your children do that? Well, my children would be too young under Indonesian law to work there, so I'd be very unhappy for them to work there. If they get to 15, would you be happy? When they get to 15, would you be happy about that? Again, if I was an Indonesian parent, uh, I would be. I mean, it's, There's a I... lot of tutting and disbelief going on at this point in the classroom because people are, uh, seem to be indicating that you're not actually answering the question. I think I have answered the question. Well, the, the question was, are you happy for your children to do it? I just said, I just said my children are too young, so the answer is no. OK, That's we'll take question. some of the questions, OK? How can you pay, like, an Indonesian worker less than the minimum wage and pay David Beckham £10 million for advertising? Well, I, th I think uh, it's important to, to remember that uh, the people who produce our clothes and shoes in Indonesia are paid better than teachers and university professors, so that is the context that you have to consider it in. Comparing the price that university professors are paid and the workers are paid, but surely Adidas has a lot more money to spend on wages than the Indonesian government does. Uh, yes, but uh, we, we wouldn't want to be in a position where um, all the teachers and university professors in Indonesia would prefer to be uh, making shoes because I think the education system would suffer. Does, does that happen often that university lecturers and professors actually secretly crave a life uh, sewing shoes? Well, I think uh, if, if we paid above market wages, then I think that would be a problem, yeah. So you think if you paid above market wages, you'd spoil them? Uh, no, I'm not saying that, but I, I think it would threaten the education system in, in Indonesia, for example, and, and you know, other, other governments... So if you paid them too much money, then it would undermine the government, that's what you seem to be saying? It would undermine government services. So really, this is uh, actually an act of altruism, then, by paying them less? I wouldn't say that. We, we're just paying uh, what the local market demands. If, if you're so worried about the education system suffering, then why do you hire 15-year-old children who should be in school getting a better, better education and a better job? Well, our policy is to make sure that um, people are not employed if um, they are of the legal age to receive full-time education. And, and in Indonesia, 15 uh, is, is above that age. We have our code of conduct, which is called the standards of engagement. You said before that... Um, you couldn't afford to charge the fair trade prices because you'd lose out on profits, but isn't Adidas rich enough to, to charge the same prices and still make profit? Uh, we're in a very competitive market and we can't afford to do that because, uh, you know, as I say, we do have a duty to our shareholders. That's what private companies are set up for, uh, essentially. And at the end, he said, look, I have to go. I've given you nearly an hour of my time. I said, well, look, can I just ask, how many children are happy with all the answers here? People who thought he answered well and addressed the issues. Can we just have your hands up? You've, you've not got one hand up, I'm afraid, David. He said, well, obviously, I'd have preferred to have met them face to face to explain. I said, fantastic. <laughs> I said, Mr. Jenkins, who is the teacher, who's brilliant. I said, Mr. Jenkins, what time does term start? He said, the 8th of January. I said, are you free on the 9th? He said, yes. I said, David, are you free on the 9th? He said, yes, I, I think I am. I said, great. Will you come along to the school on the 9th? He said, OK. I said, we'll fly in a worker from Indonesia. We'll get someone from the European Parliament. How does that suit you? <laughs> we leave it there. We try and get back in touch with Winton Roster at Jazzy Books. Hi, is that Winton Roster? Uh, no, it isn't. Hi. Uh, my name's Ken. How okay. can I help you? I'm Emma. I'm, I'm from school in North London. I was just wanted to talk about the jazzy books. Oh, I see. Okay. Is there um, anybody else here who could help you, do you think? Okay. Yeah, if you could answer just a few of my questions. It's actually for Channel 4, for broadcast, recording for broadcast. Oh, yeah. No, I, do, I, no, I know what you're calling about. Okay. Um, I think it is possibly worse than you do need to speak to. Yeah. The European Parliament had a hearing about Adidas and their factories in Indonesia 
and the practice is there. And Adidas didn't turn up. And I said to this guy, why didn't you turn up to the hearing at the European Parliament? He said, we didn't get enough time. I said, well, how long did you get? He said, oh, a few weeks. A few weeks? You're a, you can't believe it. This is a multinational company, and you can't get to Brussels. You're a sportswear company, for God's sake. You can put the shoes on and jog over in that time. <laughs> Unless, of course, your chief executives are all sitting there, sort of like, <laughs> bloated and corporate, and just sort of balancing their fifth stomach on a tea trolley. We've got, we've got to get to Brussels. Have we? God, how long have we got? A few weeks. God, we'll never make the lift. <laughs> so, the ninth arrives. The kids are there. The MEP is there. There's a woman called uh, Endang from the Urban Community Mission in Indonesia who go and inspect factories, and a translator called Tatiana. They're all sitting there, and this guy, it was incredible, because the kids really want to meet him. They really want to ask him some questions. So it's kind of like we're sitting there, and I felt mildly sorry for the guy. We've looked at the wages of the workers, and on average, over the last few months, the workers have been taking home 700,000 rupiah per month. Um, we can be sure that workers are getting at least 25% above minimum wage. 70,000, is it? A month? 700,000, yeah. Which amounts to how much in? Um, it's about $85, 90 dollars. In sterling? Sterling, 60. 60, 60 a month. 60. The fact is, the workers uh, could get 700,000 uh, wage if they work over time. That is the reality. If they don't work over time, they will never get that 700,000. David, do you accept that point, that you would have to do overtime to, to earn the Yes, I, it does yeah. include overtime payments, yeah. yes, but it also includes um, transport. Yeah, because the overtime, mm. meaning that you have to work from 7.30 in the morning till 9, 9, 9. o'clock in the evening. <laughs> then you can get 700,000. But don't you think it's morally wrong to exploit workers like that? Because you, you have them, you bring in the poor workers and you pay them nothing. Then where are they going to go from there? They, can't, they can barely provide for themselves. They have children, they're not going to school, so then they get no education, then they're poor. So then they come to your factories and it's just an ongoing vicious circle. Do you think it's morally wrong to just keep that going? Well, it's a question of whether the glass is half full or half empty, isn't it? No one would work a 14-hour shift, you know, unless they had to. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe in Indonesia the workers just really love making shirts for Adidas and they're there first thing in the morning. Hi ho! <laughs> the guy was actually saying, you know, we believe in working in partnership with people. And he said, why don't you work with, you know, the Urban Community Mission and Endang? He said, well, you know, we did use them, but we don't trust them. We don't think what they've said here today is fair. I don't even get Adidas to try and work with the Indonesian government to try and raise their minimum wage. So even. If you don't, if the management pay them very little or just the minimum wage, the minimum wage will still be higher, so they'll be earning more. I think it's difficult for one company to influence yeah, the but, government. Um, he in, said that Indian. some big I companies mean, have as much economic power as um, whole governments, and I think yes, Adidas probably has more than Indonesia, so why don't you work with them to try and improve the minimum yeah, wage? Yeah, the natural partners of government in Indonesia is government. Uh, around the world, so I think uh, it's possible for governments to influence other gov governments well, as well.